What's good, everybody? This is your boy, Paul the Fifth. And thank you so much for watching. I hope this finds you healthy and well, and happy holidays. And since today is December 5th, I have come up with a list of top five favorite things about my time at SAE Institute, Nashville. Before we get started, you might be noticing this snazzy shirt that I got. I actually got this from a fellow classmate that I met at SAE. His name is Rudy Curry. We have stayed in touch and supported each other. During this year, Rudy has started this apparel brand. It's called Hush. It stands for Hustle Until Something Happens. Rudy, I see you. I see you hustling. Thank you for your friendship. I'm so glad to be able to support you after all these years. And ladies and gentlemen, as we're in the holiday season, if you have any apparel needs for gifts for the holidays, he's got everything from hoodies, t-shirts, hat wear, garb, sock hats, you name it, he's got it all. I'm gonna drop a link in the description where you can go to Rudy's website, Hush by Rudy Curry, if you want to support him and get some apparel for the holidays. Here's my first thing that I enjoyed about SAE Institute Nashville. When you walk in the building or you badge in at the security door, there's a sense of excitement, welcoming, belonging, and just a buzz about learning. I was surrounded by like-minded individuals who shared the same passions and the same enthusiasm for learning audio production. Another thing I really enjoyed about the campus is the staff and the instructors. Many of the instructors also happen to be world-class musicians, as well as top-notch recording, mixing, and mastering engineers. My second favorite thing about my time at SAE Nashville was just the opportunity to meet people from all backgrounds, all walks of life. As I said earlier, I met Rudy Curry, who was one of my classmates and now just great friends that I've been able to support his adventure. And we got to learn all kinds of styles of music production, everything from jazz to hip hop to rock and roll and R&B. I got to play drums on a few sessions. I'll be sharing some mixing tips from those old sessions from 2017 and future episodes. The other thing that I really enjoyed about the campus being here in Nashville, Tennessee, we're right in the heart of Music Row. And in the same parking lot right behind us was a major studio and it's called Soundstage Studios. And that consisted of four major studios, including Backstage and Ronnie's Place, which happens to be Ronnie Millsap's studio. I was very fortunate to land a 10 month internship at Soundstage Studios. And during that 10 months, I got to meet other interns. I became friends with some of the recording and mixing engineers. I got to be intimately involved in many of the production processes of some of the sessions. And I was able to meet a wide variety of people that I would have never been able to make connections with on my own and got to meet quite a few A-list celebrities as well. My third favorite memory would include just the learning process. Even though the program spanned over 18 months, everything was done in such a relaxing, enjoyable, and fun to learn environment. You would have three days of classes a week, the other days you would have labs, so everything was spread out. You'd read about the concepts, your instructors would lecture about them, you'd actually have hands-on demos, and then you would actually do it, and then that's how I found that I learned these concepts. And my next favorite takeaway is number four, ties in to what we just talked about with number three, and the learning process was, game staging was another concept that I really got to hone in on and understand, and my favorite thing that I really got to hone in on was EQ. During semester one, I had an incredible, amazing instructor. Her name is Crystal. She gave us a lecture on EQ. I always had a concept of what that was, but she taught it in such a way that it just clicked and it stuck with me. And during my time there, I got to really kind of hone in on that. And it let me learn and gave me confidence in any EQ decisions I would make going forward. So thank you so much for that, Crystal. My fifth, fifth favorite takeaway from my time at SAE Nashville is the overall opportunity that I had. It ties in with everything I just talked about, but mostly it was the gear. 
In Studio B, we had access to a 32 channel analog topped console where it was a hybrid setup. So we had the console outboard gear and then we had a full Pro Tools suite. So that was a great room. I tracked many sessions in there. I had the opportunity to play drums on a country song. I got to play bass guitar on a few sessions in the control room as well. In Studio C, we had access to a full digital Pro Tools suite. We had a 48 fader Icon D surround sound system used for audio for video. We had some great times coming up with sounds for Foley. We had a good time making videos that were blank and putting audio music and Foley together for those projects. And this is my favorite thing of all. In Studio A, we had access to a 64 channel SSL analog console. And the thing that's so special about that console is one of my favorite singers of all time, Whitney Houston. It was her personal console that she had at her studio. Just to get the hands-on experience, just the experience of saying, I got to put my hands on Whitney Houston's analog console. Not many people in the world can say that. This is one of the most cherished memories I will have about my time at SAE. If you're somebody that's wanting to get into music and audio production, I would definitely recommend SAE. There's multiple campuses worldwide. I believe everything started in Australia. We have campuses in Nashville, Tennessee. There's one in Chicago. There's one in Atlanta. There's one in Miami. In the description, I'll drop a link to SAE, all the campuses there, as well as Rudy Curry's Hush Apparel line. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you continue to stay safe and healthy. I hope you have a great holiday season. Make sure you check out my episode next week for my rig rundown. It's my birthday and I got myself a nice birthday gift. We're going to have a new setup back here. It's going to be my rig rundown. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Stay safe and much love.